What's going on, everybody? My name is MT, and welcome back to the Nerd Herd, a show where I give you the word about nerd type stuff. And today's video has to deal with one of the best thought up concepts of all time airplanes with legs. Yes, Robotech, the popular anime from the 1980s, is coming to a theater near you soon. Yes! Yes! I love living in a day and age where awesome things from the past get put into the movies. I love seeing awesome things! Sony Pictures has just revealed to Variety Magazine that they have acquired the rights to Robotech, a really, really popular anime from the 1980s that had human beings fighting against a warring alien race in these really awesome futuristic planes that could also transform into mechs. And in their statement to Variety Magazine, Sony says that this this acquisition is no small deal. This is great. This is what? My only question to Sony Pictures is what were you waiting for? Like, why wasn't this done sooner? I don't know a lot about Robotech because I personally have not watched the anime at all, but I did own a game on the GameCube, Robotech Battle Cry, I believe. It was one of the best games I've played in my childhood. I remember being at the GameStop being like, oh, what game should I buy today? My father's going to buy me a game because I'm fat and I don't want to do anything. Oh, this game has a plane and a mech on it. This looks really cool and I played it and it was awesome. When I played the game, I didn't really follow the story at all, to be honest. I was like, wait, I can be a plane and then I could be a half plane with legs and then I could be a full mech and I can shoot things with a gun? This, I've never played a game like this before. Like, Robotech Battlecry was probably the best Transformers game I've ever played and it wasn't even Transformers. This movie is going to be written and produced by the same team behind 300, so chances are we'll probably have a, this is robot planes moment, which I'm excited for. Hopefully you put it in there. That's an idea. Don't, don't, don't lose your old ideas, guys. Just don't be afraid to recycle. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid to kick a guy down a well with your feet. Just like, pew! Just pew! With your robot, big old robot feet. Just be like, this is unnecessary. Boom! And you do that. Do it. <laughs> Frank Agrama of Harmony Gold, the original property rights holder to Robotech, says that Harmony Gold has waited 30 years for the chips to fall in place. Finally they have, and finally our dreams have come true. I'm sure that our fans and the public at large will be flabbergasted with what they will hear and see on screen. Flabbergasted is a weird word to be quoted on when describing your franchise. And I don't really know how to take that. Robotech is a fantastic franchise, and Sony should not mess this up. Please, Sony get it together. Worst case scenario, if things go bad, Sony Pictures can always have the Robotech people join the Avengers, and Tony Stark and Captain America will have some more air support. Think about it. Because all the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarriers are falling out of the sky all the time anyway, so you probably really would need the air support. Yeah, Robotech is coming to a movie theater New Year, so get excited about that. Where do you guys want to see Sony take the direction of the film? Do you guys want to see a, a much grittier and darker, or do you guys want to see a more lighthearted and action-packed Robotech? One that doesn't take itself too seriously, but at the same time knows how to create a compelling story. So let me know. Sound off in the comments if you want, or don't. There, that's always an option. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is MT, and this has been your word from a nerd. See you guys later.